boxes on your reference sheet that we're going to fill in right now. So we got about uh, 27 minutes, 28 minutes. Um, we want to start the test at 8.30, so you got you guys have enough time to get started. All right? So today, we're going to talk about point-slope form. You have no notes for this. You should have your reference sheet out in front of you right now. There's going to be three boxes on your reference sheet you fill in. We're going to fill in on the front side, point-slope formula. We're going to fill in 4.2 example 1, 4.2 example 2. All right? Don't know what's up. Yeah, if you can put it to the library, go get it, yep. So, we're talking about point slope. I, I know this says last week, but up until this point, right, we've talked about an equation of a line. What formula or what form <coughs> have we used for that equation of a line? We've talked about it all week. We talked about it a little bit in other times this year. What's that equation that we've used to um, graph a line or write an equation of a line? What's that formula? Y equals mx plus p, exactly. All right? And what, what do we call that y equals mx plus p? What's the name of that? Anybody remember, Matt? Slope what? Good. Slope intercept, right? Because when you do that, all right, like we talked about, that's going to be. Right? Because it's slope intercept because you have the slope and you have the intercept. Those are the two things that you need. Today, we're going to use something that's a little, it's similar, but it's got a little bit more to it. Because what we're asking you guys to, what we're going to, like yesterday we gave you, okay, we gave you the slope. Some of the stuff we did yesterday, we gave you the slope, we gave you the y intercept. Write the equation. We gave you a graph. Asked you like, to identify the slope. Identify the y-intercept. So you needed a slope-intercept because you needed a slope and you needed a y-intercept. All right? Today, we're going to use a similar type of formula, but again, it's got a little bit more to it. Uh, but the main parts are still going to represent the same thing. All right? So a linear equation in point-slope form. So today, we're going to talk about for the first half of class, we're going to talk about point slope form. All right. We may take this point slope form and put it in slope intercept. And I'm going to we're going to show you guys how to do that. All right. But we are, this is a different, like I said, it's going to be similar to slope intercept, and it's got some of the same main parts. It's just going to be set up a little bit differently. All right. So again, this is what it looks like. Like we said, some of the main parts. There's your y, there's your equal sign, there's your m, there's your x. What letter don't you notice there that we have in slope intercept? B. There's no b, right? We'll be able to, we're going to be able to figure out b by using this formula. So on your reference sheet, as you look at the front of it, where it says point slope formula, you want to write this. I believe you already have you already have the minus sign, you already have the equal sign, you already have the parentheses, you just want to fill them in. And you have the arrows too. You have the arrow coming off, you want to write slope. You have the arrow coming off y1, arrow coming off x1. Again, these are going to be the coordinates that the line passes through. We might say given, you know, write a line that goes through this coordinate and has a slope of five. That's something we'll take a look at today. But we're gonna have to be able, we're gonna have to use this formula to do that. So y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. And again, it's still got some of the main parts that we talked about. The only thing that's missing is the slope intercept. And we can take this formula right here, we can take this and move some stuff around and get it into slope intercept. We can do that. So you just got to pay attention. You just got to pay attention, guys, to what it's asking for. Is it asking for slope intercept or is it asking for point slope? Let's make sure you pay attention to what the direction is. Everybody good with this? Everybody has it? Okay. So now, how do we plug those things in? So now we're 
where you see below your below the formula there, there's like like a colon and like a line, and then there's stuff that is like minus signs, equal signs. This is where you're gonna write the stuff I'm talking about right now. So on that first blank, this is what you're gonna write. So don't worry about writing this right now. This is a different, this is a different different example. So where it says 4.2, example one, on the on the front side, on the right hand side of your reference sheet, you want to write this. Alright? Alright? So example one on the right hand side of your reference sheet, alright, where it says 4.2, example one, you want to write this. Write an equation in point slope form of the line that passes through the point four zero and has a slope of five. Right? Write an equation in point slope form of the line that passes through the point four zero and has a slope of five. That's why it's called point slope. You have a point, this is your point, this is your slope. All right? So you want to write this down on your reference sheet. Uh, 4.2 example one. Don't just write the don't just write what we do for the answer. You want to write the whole problem. Like I said, we do another example. You just want to pay attention to what form we're asking you to put it in. You may have to, a couple of the examples we do after this, you may have to put it in point slope. It may ask for slope intercept. You may start with point slope, move some stuff around, that's going to get it in slope intercept. All right? So how are we going to do it? Now, we're going back now. I want you guys to go back to the point slope form on the left-hand side, go back to that box on the left-hand side, and we're going to fill in all those blanks right now. All right? So what, what's, what we're going to do here, guys, is that formula we just went over, we're going to go through step by step by step by step of what you have to plug in. All right? And what, where do you, where, what you plug in, where do you get that from? All right? So first thing on your list there, under the point slope form you just wrote on the left-hand side of your reference sheet, how do we plug stuff in? So your first blank, that looks like this is a blank and there's a little colon. In that blank, you want to write Y. Next to it, stays as Y. You're not plugging anything in for this, because it's Y minus Y1 equals M, parentheses, X minus X1. That Y, it doesn't change. It just stays as Y. You don't have to plug, you're not plugging anything in for that part of the formula. This state, it just stays as the letter Y. You're not going to plug a number in for it, nothing. It's just going to stay as that letter. All right? Where's your reference sheet right here? Oh, it's right here. So yeah, we're filling this stuff in the reference sheet right now. Yeah, we'll fire it. I filled it in. Before. You couldn't have filled this in. We haven't done it yet. I think he's got last week's. Did you, yeah. just, uh, did you print it? Yeah, that's one of your things. He printed last week's. All right, so Y stays as Y. You're not plugging anything in for this. Next thing in the formula, you guys already have this on your reference sheet, is just minus. Right? You already have it written there anyways. Just a minus. Next thing you're going to write, all right? Y1, you have your blank. In that blank, you're going to write Y1. You're going to plug in Y1 from the set of coordinates given. So like in this problem, here's my set of coordinates, all right? My Y1 is 0. So we're going to plug in Y1 from the set of coordinates given. So as far as our formula goes now, all we have is y, at this step we have y minus. The next step here, we're going to have y minus, my y1 is 0. y minus 0. Again, I'm just going along with what the formula tells me to plug in. Next thing it tells me to put in is my equal sign. I'm just going through step by step, plugging in different things. Next thing in my formula is my M. Sometimes it may give you the slope, sometimes it may not. All right? In this case, it gives me the slope, right? What number am I plugging in for slope from this problem? What's the slope that it gives me? Five, right? There's no math involved. I'm just going to put five. 
like I said, sometimes it may not give you a slope. If the slope isn't given to me, what can I do? What formula can I use just to figure out slope? Just slope. Now y equals mx plus b. I'm given two sets of coordinates, right? And I need to figure out the slope. What's the formula I use, Miguel? Yeah, which is what? Kind of looks something like this. There's a minus on top. There's a line. There's a minus on the bottom. Good, Chris. Y2 minus Y. Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. If it gives you a graph, you may be able to count two. Right? You can count and get your slope. So I understand your slope's not always, it's not always going to be nice like this. And you'll see that in the next example we do. Right? So we're going to plug in our slope here. It's five. We'll go down. All right? We're going to put our first parenthesis in. So it's Y minus zero equals five parentheses. Again, that's going through step by step. All, right. All I'm doing is taking the formula that's written horizontally and putting it vertically and going through step by step so you guys can see how it works. All right? So I have my first set of parentheses. Next, my x. My x just stays as x, just like when it's y in the beginning, this x just stays as x. I'm not plugging anything in for that. And then I get my minus sign. So y minus 0 equals 5 parentheses x minus. Two more things I have to write that I'm set up. All right? Got my minus. x1. Just like with <coughs> y1, I go back to my coordinates. What's the x value in my coordinates? Let's scroll back up. What's my x value? In my coordinate, x is 4. Good. I'm going to scroll back down. And the last thing I have to write is my parenthesis. So y minus 0 equals 5x minus, we said 4, right guys? This is that right there. This, right? That right there is point slope form. So if it asks you to put in the point, like, like example one asked you, right? Example one right here, it doesn't ask us to put it in slope intercept. I don't have to do any more than that. If it asks for point slope, I'm done. I just gotta plug it in. I don't have to simplify, I don't have to do anything else. If it asks for point slope form, this is it. I don't have to do any more than that. Alright? I don't have to do any more than that. You don't have to write this, because we will do one that we have to put in slope intercept. All right? This one we don't. I just want to show you this. If it did ask me, y minus zero. If it did ask me, again, if it only gives me one coordinate, Basically, if it doesn't give me a y-intercept, right? I can't, in my graph, I can't see on my graph where it crosses the y-intercept, all right? They ask me to put it in slope-intercept form. All I'm going to do is I'm going to start in point-slope form, which is this, all right? I'm going to distribute. I'm going to do 5 times x, 5 times negative 4, all right? And then I'm going to take the number that's on the side with y, and I'll move it over to the other side, and I'll be done. You guys don't have to write this. I want to sh just show you. Minus 0 equals 5x minus 20. Again, this doesn't really matter. I'm just, it's 0, so it doesn't really matter. y equals 5x minus 20. So I took the formula from point slope and I put it in slope intercept. 
All I had to do was move the number that was on the side with y to the other side. Now I have my slope, which is 5, and I have my y-intercept, which is negative 20. So if it asks you to put it into slope-intercept, I'm just going to move the number that's with y, move it to the other side, and I have it. All right? We didn't ask you. To, this one didn't ask you. If it asks for point slope, that's all you have to do. You didn't ask for any more than that. All right. On the front side of your notes, all right, it says write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line shown. <sighs> Guys, your graph doesn't have to be... Let's make sure you have a, co a coordinate at 1, 1, 2, and a coordinate at 3, negative 2. And then draw your graph. So you want a coordinate at 1, positive 1, positive 2, and a coordinate at 3, negative 2. On the front side of your notes, this is going to be example, uh, it's going to be 4.2, example 2. 4.2, example 2 on the front side of your reference sheet. So you're going to draw, you're gonna have to draw your graph, a coordinate at 1, 2, and a coordinate at 3, negative 2. Now look at, pay attention. It's asking for a slope intercept now. The last example we did, what did it ask for? What? The last, so this one asked for slope intercept. That's the one we're more familiar with. All right? What do we do in the last one? What, what formula did it ask for? Or what format? What was it, Matt? Point slope. Why couldn't I use slope intercept here? Well, why, why, let me ask you, why couldn't I put it in the slope intercept right away? Because you can't see the y-axis. Yeah, like Mary just said, I can't see where it crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to put it in, like I just showed you guys, I'm going to put it in point slope form first, <coughs> and then transfer it into slope intercept. All right? So in this type of problem like we talked about, we're given two points on the line rather than the slope. It doesn't, so like I told you, if the slope's not given, we have to figure it out. All right? So we want to find the slope first. All right? Like we just talked about, the formula to do that, which we wrote on your, in, your, in your notes for point slope, is this. y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So I'm going to scroll back up. I don't care what we label them. I'm going to do this as x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. All right? y2, negative 2, minus y1, 2. Um, then I got x2, 3, minus x1, that. All right? Negative 2 minus 2 is going to be negative 4. <coughs> 3 minus 1 is 2. I can simplify. I can simplify. I'm going to get an m, or a slope, of negative 2. So the only thing that was different here from the last one is two things. It gave me a graph. And it, didn't give me the, it gave me a graph this time. And it gave me two sets of coordinates. I figured out my slope right there. m equals negative 2. So if it doesn't give me the slope, I have to figure it out using that formula. Or, or I could have done down 2, I could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, over 2, 1, 2. Negative 4 over 2, which simplifies to negative 2. You could have counted as well. Either way will work. Whatever you feel more comfortable with, you can do. All right? So I'm going to scroll back down. And I'm just going to write down here m equals negative 2. That's my slope. Now it says, because before, it only gave, us, only gave us one coordinate. Now it gives us two. So it says, pick one of the coordinates you were given to use in the point slope formula. Scroll back up. Which set of coordinates do you want to use? It doesn't matter which one you use. Does anybody have a preference as to what, which one they'd like to use? I'm going to use 1, 2. Reason being, I don't want to deal with negatives. So the, again, it doesn't matter which point you use, either one will work. You're not wrong. I, I used that one because it didn't have any negatives. So the, so what would I label one? What would I label that? Based on what I need for the formula for point slope. What would I label one? What would it be? Is it an x or a y? X. So what would I label it? X what? One. X one, what's two going to be? Y one. Y one. 
Now we're going to go through the, those, those notes we just put about all the steps. All right? In our formula for point slope, what's the first thing I write? So those notes we just put in the front side and the left hand side for point slope, right? What's the first thing we write? Why? Why? What's the next thing? After the Y comes the what? What's the next thing on the list? Minus. Minus. What's the next thing on the list? Y1, which is in this problem? Two. I'm just going through step by step off my list. Two. After that, I have a what? Equal sign. After that, I have what? M, which is? Negative two. After that, I have a what? Parenthesis. In the parenthesis? X. After that? Minus y1. I mean, x1, which is 1. I'm gonna, I'll just write, I'm just going to write the formula above it, guys, so you know. y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. There's the formula. I plugged everything in. Okay. Am I done? Did it ask me to put this in point slope? If, I was, if it was asking for point slope form, I'd be done. Is it asking for point slope form? What formula is it asking the problem to be in? Point slope or slope intercept? Slope intercept, right? So I got to do two things to get it in slope intercept. What's the first thing? I see parentheses there. That's so what I have to do. Distribute. Distribute. This doesn't change. Y minus Y2 equals. If I do negative 2 times x, what do I get? Negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1? Positive 2. One more thing to get it in slope intercept. What needs to move? What needs to be by itself? The y needs to be by itself. So what do I do to get it by itself? Add 2 here. Now I'm just going to match it up to the other, because I can't add 2 to the 2x two because it has an x. It just doesn't. I'm going to add 2 over here. y equals negative 2x plus 4. That's in the slope intercept. So again, I forget, I think Mary told me at the beginning I couldn't put it in slope intercept because I didn't have a y-intercept. I couldn't see, if I scroll back, I will come back down guys so you can finish writing that. I couldn't see on my graph where it crosses the y-intercept. That's why I couldn't use slope intercept because I couldn't use slope intercept right off the bat because I can't see it. It doesn't show me where it crosses on the y-axis. So that's why I had to use point slope first. Then once I get it in point slope, distribute. And then move number with y. Once I do that, I have it in slope intercept. Distribute, move the number that's on the side with y, and you're done. All right? Um, guys, if you didn't, I know a lot of you guys didn't fill in your reference sheet. So it says like 4.1, example 4. If you just want to cross that out, or if you have any, and a lot of you guys have extra boxes, if you want to fill this one in, we can do that. So this one's different because it doesn't have a graph. All right? And it's written in function. It's written in function notation. How can I take these? We did this yesterday. How can I take those coordinates, or how can I take those functions and put them in function notation? Mary? There, it's the number right after x in parentheses. Yeah. Right after f is your x. So what, this function, what would it be as a coordinate? What, comma, what? Negative 3, comma, 1. Yeah. Basically, it's already in the right order. I'm just going to put a parenthesis. I'm just going to put a comma in between. All right? Um, Yusuf, if I want to put that this function as a coordinate, what would it be? 13, 13 comma 5. Now, I can't count to find the slope. What do I have to do? What do I have to use? There's no graph now, so what do I have to do? What formula do I have to use to find slope and slope only? No. no. Say it, Nicole. So yeah y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here's my x1, here's my y1, here's my x2, here's my y2. 
All I'm going to do is take them and plug them in. Y2 is 5. Y1 is 1. X2 is 13. X1 is negative 3. You may have this, right? What happens when I have this? Add them together. Five, 5 minus 1? Four. 4. 13 plus 3? 16. 16. What number goes into both 4 and 16? What's the biggest? Four. I'm going to divide both by 4 to simplify. 1 fourth. Nice job. What did, I, what did I just solve for? What letter? Uh, M. M equals 1 fourth. I'm good now. Again, I don't know. There's no. Again, if it, if it gave me a number up here, if it gave me an x with 0, I know, I know my, my slope intercept. But it doesn't. So I have to. That's why I have to put it in point slope first. If it doesn't give me the y intercept, if I can't figure it out, I have to put it in point slope. What's the first thing for point slope? <coughs> first thing I write is what? Y. Right? Next thing I write is what? Minus. Minus. Which coordinate do you want to use? The first one or the second one? I'd use, yeah, I'll use the second one. There's no, there's no negatives. We'll use this one. All right? Even though I labeled this x2, y2, it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent. What number do we want to write for y? Five. Five equals, what's the next thing I write? M, which is 1 fourth, parentheses, what goes inside the parentheses? X minus, which is 13. All right? Again, it didn't ask for point slope, it asked for slope intercept. So what do I do? What's the first thing I have to do to get an slope intercept? Distribute, very good. I'm going to bring the Y minus 5 down. 1 fourth times X is what? 1 fourth X. Thank you, Donovan. One fourth times, oops, fourth, I should say. One fourth times 13, I'm going to get 13 over 4. All right? Because uh, I can't reduce that, so I'll just stay like that. So minus 13 over 4. I'm going to add 5, add 5. Y equals, this one kind of, kind of comes out ugly, guys, but that's okay. Um, again, as long as you know, guys, that you have to move this to the other side, like negative 13 over 4 plus 5, it's going to come out kind of ugly as like a fraction. Um, but that's okay. As long as, you, as long as you understand, if we're going to take it from, some, as long as you understand, we're going to take it from slope intercept, I'm sorry, from point slope, and get it to slope intercept. To do that, again, distribute, and then move the number with y to the other side. All I'm going to put here, guys, is negative 13 over 4 plus 5. I'll just do something like that. There's not, I, don't know what, I don't know what that comes out to. Um, I'd have to write it out by hand. But um, just understand that. If you want to get it from point slope to slope intercept, distribute, and then move the number that's on the side with y to the other side, that's how you get it from point slope into slope intercept. All right? So there'll be a couple on that like on the test today. I just want to make sure you guys had that, All right?